This video is specifically designed for students in Computer Science 28 at Evergreen Valley College. If you're not in that course, this video may not apply. If you want to write your own Jupyter Notebooks, but don't want to install Jupyter on your computer, you can use the version that you're using for our course. Go to any one of the assignments in Canvas and start the notebook for that assignment. Click the Jupyter Hub logo at the upper left. And there's your file system. Let's create a new folder by using the New menu at the upper right of the screen. And you'll see an untitled folder appear. I'll click the checkbox next to it so you can see it more clearly. Up near the top of the screen, a Rename button has appeared. We may as well rename this folder to a more useful name. The dialog box asks for a new name, and let's call it My Underscore Notebooks, and click the Rename button. You'll see that it has been renamed, and we can double-click it to open it. If you need to upload any data files, click the Upload button, navigate to your data sets, and then select the file you want. If you want to upload more than one file, hold down the control key and click the file or files that you want. And then you will see the files there and you can now click Upload and Upload again. That's how you get your data files into this new folder that you've created. Now we're going to use the new drop-down menu. And you'll see in gray letters the word notebook, very small print, so you might miss it. And that's how you create a notebook with the Python 3 kernel. That's the language that you're going to be using for your code cells. And we now have a new untitled notebook. You'll want to go to the File menu and Save As to change its name to something more reasonable. A dialog box pops up with the current directory name followed by a slash. Don't get rid of any of that. You want to keep it there. You'll put the file name that you want after the slash. And we'll call this one Example. And then click Save. And you'll notice that it now says Example up at the top of the screen. Let's put in a markdown cell and a code cell to check that everything works. We'll select markdown and we'll say testing my example notebook. Run that cell. We see the text. Great. Our next cell will be a code cell. Let's do a Python statement that says print and in double quotes it works with an exclamation point run that cell, and we get the output we expected. Perfect. Let's save the notebook, either with the Save icon here, or with the Save and Checkpoint menu item from the File menu. And now I can close all of the tabs that have been opened. The next time I go to an assignment, and click Jupyter Hub, I can go to my notebooks. There's my example. I can open it up and continue working with it. And that's how you can get started writing your own notebooks with the Jupyter version that's installed in Canvas for Computer Science 28 at Evergreen Valley College in San Jose, California.